Welcome to another episode of Our World Today. I'm Cash. Pretty funny woman. Natasha Kradnikov. And Dax. And our topic for today, I believe, is human trafficking. And for those of our viewers who might not know exactly what human trafficking is, what is human trafficking? I think uh, you would like to take this one, right? Yeah, human trafficking is uh, uh, a major problem happening all over the world and we thought it was really relegated to uh, third world countries, but it's actually a first world country and it's uh, out of control in the United States. And it, it's where they get uh, young girls, or they could be young boys too, and they get kidnapped and they, they get promised um, jobs in this country. Mm -hmm. and. Um, they, they, they get put in, in massage parlors or mm -hmm. they, they, they get pimped out and they're essentially uh, slaves kept in, in rooms like, like prisoners for years and years and years mm -hmm. where they can't get out or they can never pay back their debt and it's gotten so bad that over, for example, Super Bowl weekend, the, the, uh, the rates of human trafficking where, mm -hmm. where girls are flowing in to wherever the, 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 uh, the, uh, the game is happening mm -hmm. goes right up. And, and so it's not just isolated to third world countries where people used to fly there and uh, you know have sex with underage children. It's, it's, it's a really bad problem in the United States and um, there are some organizations now like one run by uh, Jada Pinkett Smith or uh, RAT which is um, Rock Against Human Trafficking where people are starting to do something about it. But um, it's, Do we have any statistics on it? Well, it, ha it happens a lot over in Paris and other uh, areas too. Like I remember the movie Taken was about that kind of sort of thing. Um, we thought it was only over there. Yeah, it, it's, it's here. It's here too as mm -hmm. well, and it's happening more so now. But than do, do we do we have numbers? I mean, we do I have, have numbers, but I don't, I don't have them at my fingertips. I don't know right how there, accurate they are. One, one of the studies that they've done, which is very interesting, is see, traditionally we've been arresting the girls. Or and, and, and but countries like uh, the Nordic countries and now France is going to do it. Yeah. They're arresting the Johns because they they they, they, they find it. Those, those are actually the criminals. Were the the, the the women that they've traditionally been uh, and young girls that they've been arresting. Um, they're actually victims of circumstance. So they're actually victims. And um, so um, they can have brought these all these girls in brothels, but they're gonna they're gonna go after the uh, the, the Johns now. And and uh, make that the, the the penalty, not not the girls. And it seems to really be working, because uh, they, what they what they're saying is what we really need to do is how do we uh, diminish the demand? It's all about demand and supply. So when there's great demand, then you know people want the supply to go up. So by bringing down the demand, they can um, what they can do is make make it so that pimping ain't easy. Well, you know, I've actually heard as well that um, that unfortunately there are some areas that police are involved in running these rings. I, I, I don't doubt it. I mean, we yeah. just had a police officer, two police officers here in Los Angeles uh, arrested or charged with you know, forcing sex on, on girls. Underage girls, yeah. Underage girls, yeah. Right. Um, well, I know that it's a, it's, it's an epidemic. It's something that, um, that you, you don't see it every day. It's something that people put a blind eye to because they don't, I, they don't hear about it enough. Well, they're not making the connection that yeah. that person they're getting a massage from, uh, how, you know, or that person that they, they've been having sex with. Um, is, is, is actually in, in captivity and you know what we have to ask ourselves what is the root of this problem right what, what do you what do you think well I mean, it's, it's money it's, it's money, money. It's, it's also yeah. it, it, money. There, there's also uh, there, there's we, we always thought it was um, just certain countries or people that mm -hmm. uh, weren't white but there, there you know there's a whole white slave market too mm -hmm. absolutely um, a lot of women coming from Eastern Bloc countries because they're so poor and they have the lure of I'm I'm going to have a job and make money and be able to send money back to my family. And they want to be over here, mm -hmm. and that's their way of being over here. Right. They're, well, there there are promised things in the U.S. and everybody's. Mm -hmm. It seems as though so many um, people that are poor think the U.S. is the place to be. You know. Um, but they they just don't realize the illusion that they're being fed um, that. That it's not real. It's 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 something that that these people make these promises, but they're not real promises. And the, probably, I mean, the view of the United States around the world it is it's the land of milk and honey. I don't know. It's it's just it's uh, it's just an oasis. It's 
you place to be. Right, and, and that's the thing. It's, it's that whole picture that we paint. The, the white picket fence, the house, the, the husband, yes, but we the just, dog. In the end, we have to make it not about these women. We have to come down really hard on the traffickers and on the Johns. Mm -hmm. So not just oh, the right. people who bring the girls over, but the people that are engaging and, and hiring, you know, giving them money to have sex with these the, these minors. Oh, right, they're feeding yeah. that. They're, 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 yeah. Well, right, they're they're actually feeding that trafficking. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that, I mean, there's a there's a supply and demand, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, how do you go about besides them not getting help? How do you go about educating those people that um, that are trying to go after these? These these victims, these these uh, girls, these boys, these these young children. You know, how do you educate those adults? You don't educate them. You don't you, educate you, them. You, you 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 make it a crime. Right. You well, you, right. you you put their names out there. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, it, it becomes a, as big a, a crime as as murder or pedophilia or anything. Wow. We have yeah. <laughs> been educated now, right? Public topic. Yes. For sure. But we want to hear from you, our viewer. So please make sure you comment in the comment section on our YouTube page and subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, it's the people. hard sell. It's Give me the hard sell. But yes, it's that time again. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to check out our uh, upcoming, uh, our previous YouTube videos. Stay up to date on our upcoming videos. And please subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching and have a good night. Be part of Team OWT. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.